Celebrations on this day would normally start in the morning. Men in uniform, accompanied by the brass band, government dignitaries, including the sitting head of state, would be here today to celebrate and commemorate fallen Namibian heroes and heroines. At the time of our visit, the acre was empty. It is only the graves of the 24 fallen heroes and the sound of wind. Not long into our stay, the daughter of late heroine Natalia Mavulu arrives to visit her mother's grave. She is emotional and cannot speak to the NBC. Accompanied by her husband, she cleans her mother's gravesite. Natalia Dahambelela Mavulu, the first secretary of the Swapo Party's Women's League, died in Angola on 20 September 1977. The car she was in was bombed on that day. Her daughter, Susan Mavulu, was only two years old. Susan says it is her wish that a small commemoration could have been planned to lay wreaths for the heroes and heroines. An employee at the Finnish embassy, who is also a historian, visited the site. Personally, I'm very uh, fascinated about the uh, people involved in the anti-colonial uh, movement, uh, Hendrik Witboy and Maharero and those people. So uh, uh, I don't remember which one of them were buried here, all of them, but uh, definitely let's say their colleagues <laughs> uh, can be found here. And those are the people that I'm most interested in. This year marks the 55th commemoration of the Namibian War of Independence, which began on 26 August 1966 at Ongulombashe. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Heroes Acre.